nature of roots of quadratic equation. Now, the roots of quadratic equation could be um, real, okay, they may not be real, they could be equal, but how do you find out what is the nature of these roots? In order to find this out, we need to find out what is the value of b square minus 4ac in a given quadratic equation. And there could be three situations that may arise. When you calculate the value of b square minus 4ac, it could be less than 0, it could be equal to 0, or it could be greater than 0. I guess those are the three possibilities that you have. Whenever the value of this b square minus 4ac is less than 0, the roots are not real. This is what we see earlier in one of the videos as well. Whenever it is equal to 0, the roots are real and they are equal. Okay? Whereas in cases when they are greater than 0, the roots are distinct and real. Right? Now we will look at three examples one each for each one of them and uh, see how it works. So the first equation that we have is x square minus 18x minus 19 is equal to 0. If I just equate this with the standard quadratic equation, what are the values that I get? I need to find out b square minus 4ac, right, to find out the nature of the root. How much is b? b is minus 18 over here, minus 4 times a. What is the value of a? 1 times c. c is minus 19. So minus 19 times 1 gives you minus 19 into 4 gives you 76 plus 76. And how much is 18 squared? So minus 18 square is basically equal to 344, which gives me the value of 420. So basically in this case, b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. Therefore, the roots are distinct and real. Right? So if you will actually find out the root for these, you will know that the roots are distinct for this equation as well as real. Right? Let's look at the second one. So let's say we have an equation x square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. In this case, b square minus 4ac shall be equal to b. b is 2, so b square will be 4 minus 4 times a. a is what? 1 times c, which is 2 here. So I get 4 minus 8, which is minus 4. Now in this case, if you see, the value of b squared minus 14 is actually less than 0. Right? Therefore, the roots are not real. Right? And again, like I said, for this one also, why don't you find out the roots and solve it for yourself that the roots are not real. Let's look at the third equation, 2x squared plus 4 x plus 2 is equal to 0. In this case, if you find out b square minus 4ac, what do I get? The value of b over here is 4, so 4 square gives you 16, minus 4 times a, a is 2, times c, c is again 2, right? This gives you 16 minus 16, which is 0. So for this particular equation, if you will find out, you will find that the rules, roots are real and equal. So why don't we do one thing? Let's find out for this one. So 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0, which gives you, if I just take 2 common here, x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Or in other words, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Right? So I can write this as x squared plus x plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Combining these two, I take x as common, I get x plus 1 plus 1 here, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Or in other words, this is basically x plus 1 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. 
or the roots which come up from both these is going to be what? x plus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 1. Similarly for this one again you will get minus 1. So what we have noticed here is that the roots are basically equal, which is what we had discussed initially.